So this is the kind of fishing I, I used to like to do when I was little. Whoop, whoop, Juggalo Fishing Fam. Welcome back to another episode of the Juggalo Fishing Posse. Ugh, and I am your sniveling, sneezing host, Slash Gills. And yeah, mm, pollen, 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 pollen. The heavy, heavy coating all over your car, stop up your freaking sinuses, massive freaking migraines that'll kill a freaking donkey. Yeah, we're in it. But uh, anyway, as you can probably see, I got my girls with me here today. Yeah, we got suckers. We got suckers. And yes, they got suckers from the nice Indian gentleman at the gas station. Thank you, sir, for giving them some sugar. Anyway, we are heading down to the creek because my girls saw my last vid where I was catching snapping turtles and stuff, and they just, they were dying to come down here. Um, I'm not going to promise we're going to catch any turtles this time, but we might try just for the heck of it, for their sakes. But, uh, always so much traffic on this road. Anyway. We're gonna get down here. What we're actually doing today is I've got uh, I've got the gulp minnows that I was using last time. We're gonna pit those against some good old fashioned night crawlers, um, specifically here in this creek. Um, we're going to, uh, but it's gonna be a little bit of a handicap. The night crawlers always tend to do a little bit better, generally everywhere I go. So. We're gonna have the gulp minnows on my ultralight, uh, the Fluger, um, with the four pound test. We're gonna have it and leave it on there, but I'm gonna have the night crawlers on my travel rod that I bought. So it's a, yeah, it's a travel rod. Doesn't have a whole lot of backbone, and uh, it's also got thicker line on it, like much thicker. Um, but, you know, it's a night crawler. So we're gonna see which one does a little bit better in this creek. Might do some turtle fishing, and I mean, you know me, I'll probably end up throwing some bass lures anyway. Don't know if you'll see that because uh, it's not really been a whole, uh, it's not really been exactly successful for me bass fishing as of late. But uh, anyway, we're gonna get down here. I'm gonna quit flapping my yaps and uh, we're gonna jump to it, so I will meet you, fam, at the water. Let's go. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, we're gonna get her started with a gulp minnow. This is one of the original gulp minnows that I happen to find. Well, the original color was definitely not working. I got maybe two nibbles. So we're going to switch to the chartreuse again, and uh, we'll see what happens. Here we go. Alright. Let's try again with a chartreuse goat minnow. failing me today. Oh wow, there's a fish on there. Holy crap. Hello, you stubborn little butt. And since she swallowed it, that probably means that you are going to be a victim. All right, since that little bluegill wanted to pussyfoot around and swallow it, 
He is now bait. Well, that is one fish on the chartreuse goat minnow. All right, let's give a shot to some night crawlers. It might be a little too deep, but Look at there. I had a fishy for a second. Now they took that right off the bat. Watch them. Oh, hello. Good Lord. Good Lord. That is a chunky, chunky, chunky guy. Hold it. Hold it. Hang on, hang on, please. Hang on, please. Everybody, stop asking. Stop asking. Let's see if I can get this guy to sit still. Good lord. That is a beefy dude. He can, he can fit in your whole hand. Beefy little bluegill. Boom. So he took that while I was reeling it in. All right. Sun's fighting, only starting to go down a little bit. No, it's not. There's no raspberries here. Ba boom Mavis. No, do not eat them. Put it down. Put it down. I think I got that one. Yep. I got you, Buster. You weren't slick. Ugh. have definitely not bit at all which is very surprising stay over there Joe's fly. I mean, I had to throw it at least once. He pitted against the other two. And within two seconds of fishing it, I already got one little one. Oh my goodness, what the heck is that? Got a little shiner. 
gonna put him on a hook. Yeah. So this is the kind of fishing I I used to like to do when I was little. No. Just come out here, set some poles on the bottom, and just chill. There we go. Looks like a chub, maybe. Yep. It's a pretty chunky chub. Let go, Mr. Chub. Uh, he's bleeding a little bit. Got him in the got him in the gill plate, but I think he'll be all right. He seemed pretty eager to get back, didn't he? a pretty chub. Let's see if we can find something else. A rainbow fish? Yeah, I don't know if we got any rainbow fish in here, but we'll see. We might get lucky and catch a red breast. Got a little nibble. Got him. Got him. It does look like it might be a red breast. Yep, red breast sunfish. Alright. Just barely got that one off. Man, the fish in this creek, they don't know how to bite. They just literally, they swallow it and go. Bluegill with a penchant for swallowing my freaking hook. There we go. Man, there's a bunch of them stacked up in there. Aha! Yes, you can hold him. Here you go. You can't use the lip. You gotta hold his body. There you go. All right. Let him go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yay! Good job. Good job. Looky here. I have my worm back. Thanks. Little bitty guy. Good spot. Yeah. Here you go. Reel him in. Reel him in. Hurry. Okay. Thought you said you wanted to catch him. Another red breast, I think. Yep. Pretty specimen. Yes, you can hold him. Yes, yes, yes. Let it go. Hold him tight. That's that's why. Here, let's let him slide down here. Whoosh! There he goes. They got fish release tubes right here. I mean, I know they're actually water drainage tubes, but we're using them as fish release tubes, aren't we? Okay. All right. Anything directly below us? Yep, there is. Go. 
baby, just hold his body. They're too little to behold like that. Alright, can you go get me the worms? Go let him go. Yeah, put him in the fishy hole. There you go. Yeah, he went in there. Go get the worms. There you go. Reel him in. Reel him in. Hurry. There you go. Come on with it. Come on with it. Come on with it. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Quit swinging so much. Reel, reel, reel. Straight up, straight up, straight up. Keep going, keep going. You got to fish it. I, I hold it. Sorry is going to hold this one. There you go. A little bitty nugget of a bluegill. Sorry, I hold his body. Oh. Oh, well. Oh. That I hold him gone. Yeah, you want to reel him in? No. Daddy. I'm with him. Daddy. Well, you waited too long, baby. Look. Look at here. We got a pumpkin seed. Look at the pumpkin seed. I said I'll hold it. No. I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Look at that pretty pumpkin seed. I hold it. Here, I hold, hold the pumpkin it. seed. I hold it. Here you go. Reel him in. Reel him in. Navis here. Reel it in. Reel it. Reel. There you go. Grab it right here. Reel it, reel it, reel it, reel it. Keep going. You gotta keep going hard. Look at there. You got a fishy. I hold it. You hold it. You hold it. Okay. All right. There we go. There you go. You gonna hold him? There you go. Oh, oh, we got a fighter here. This guy's fighting good. Look at him fighting down there. He had some strength to him. God, I think that's the prettiest one all day. Look at that. Got him in the cheek a little bit there, but he'll be all right. Look at there. Pretty, pretty. Super pretty colors on that fish. Hey, do you want to hold him? I want to hold him. I hate to hold him so she don't pout. Here, he's big enough for you to grab. There you go. Oh, I finally got him. Finally. That fish has been biting and biting and biting, and I couldn't get a hook up. I think Mavis is gonna hold this one. Yeah. Looky here, another pumpkin seed. At least he kind of looks like a pumpkin seed. Really faded blotches, but whatever. Whatever he is, we're happy to have him, ain't we? Yeah, super cute. Let him back in the water. So he's got to go home. Boosh. Perfect, perfect toss. All right, fam. Unfortunately, that's all I got for you today. There was no bass. And even more surprising, there was no turtles. Don't know what to think about that. That was strange. Anyway, uh, yeah, handful of bluegill, handful of red breast, even a chub or two. Um, pretty good day. Pretty good day just to come out here and kill some time with the girls. But uh, yeah, overall, as far as the results go, Definitely gonna have to hand that to the Nightcrawler. I did not even attempt to put a gulp minnow back on the line to give it a second chance because 
I like catching fish. <laughs> and those minnows are just way too hit or miss around here. Gonna have to find somewhere with a whole lot more fish and a whole lot hungrier fish. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please get down and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And be sure to get in the comment section. Let me know what you think with any ideas you got, any advice, tips, jokes, anecdotes, whatever. Get down there. Leave me something. I love interacting with you guys. That's uh, that's honestly the best part of doing this whole gig. Uh, just, you know, the interaction with random people throughout the world. Um, I love that shit. So... Hit me up, get in the comments, run your jaws, whatever you got to do. And uh, as for now, I'm going to get home because I'm tired. The girls are tired and hungry. So uh, anyway, thanks for coming along with us. Much Wicked Clown love to all you ninjas, tight lines, sharp hatchets. We'll catch you guys at the water next time, fam. Ooh, ooh.